lovelies and welcome to a brand new reading vlog so this is actually the second time i'm starting this vlog because yesterday i started it and i was going on three hours of sleep and you could tell i was just days i kept saying the same thing it, just, it wasn't very good so i decided just to restart it um so wait, my phone it's actually almost six now and I have finished my homework for the day. I can't really work ahead at the moment, so I'm kind of stuck, which is a great time to read. And I've actually done a lot of reading. I started this new series Sunday, and I read it into Monday. Let me pull it up on my uh, phone. So I was not planning on reading this series, but I'm a part of Jenna Showalter's uh, like fan group, and someone in there recommended the series. And oh my god, it's so good. Uh, I'm planning on doing reviews of this on my channel and on my vlog. But the first one is The Fae King's Curse. I read that in a night. I ended up staying up until like 6 o'clock into Monday morning reading the book. And then I have The Fae King's Dream, which I actually finished yesterday, which is what I was reading and wanted to talk about. And this morning I started The Fae King's Prize. I'm about 30% into that, and that's what I'm going to be reading today. And the series takes place in like this other world. Like, we have our world, but then there's the Fey world that you can, like, portal to. And in the Fey world, there are three kingdoms. The Dream Kingdom, the Night... Well, the Dream Realm, the Night Realm, and the Day Realm. And then there's also, like, this in-between area that's not really ruled. It's kind of like neutral territory that's called Dawn and Dusk. Basically, it's about these three kings who had been cursed by this witch coven. Coven decided to curse the firstborn of the royal family in like a, a kind of a poetic way. So the witches were blinded. So the firstborn sons of the royal families were also went blind. And the only way they can get their eyesight back is if they find their faded mates. The problem is that you, with Bay to find their faded mates, they need to look them in the eye. So, while they're blind, they cannot actually find their mates because of the fact that they cannot technically see them. Uh, each of them got a, like a hint to how to find their mates. Uh, and this is just like a series of each of them finding it. And just like this world, because this is the last, the third book is the last king to find his mate. But I feel like she's setting it up so that she'll like branch out to other characters in the stories as well. Which I would really love to read because I'm really enjoying this world and these characters. I feel like I'm spelling it really badly. But um, it's really interesting just like how intricate some of the stuff is. Like the world and the, the curse and how it like all works together. So I've been really enjoying it and I highly recommend it. Like I said, I'm going to be doing like more in-depth review on my blog and my channel and everything but uh, the first book is about the night realm king and in that book he actually almost dies when he is a child and uh god what's her name whitney ends up saving him and he has like this friendship with her and when she's older when she turns like 18 and she's about to like go off to college or whatever uh, he decides to make her his queen like he is in love with her now another thing about this curse is that for the curse to be lifted they need to stay pure like they can't kiss another they can't have sex with anybody else they have to be like pure for their mate and also time works differently in this world so like one day in our world is one year in theirs so um, he is like 2,000 years old and she is 18 and they've known each other for, for him for thousands of years and for her for about six years, I think. And he decides that he's not going to wait for his mate, that he's in love with her and he takes her to his kingdom and it just so happens to turn out that she is in fact his mate. And then the second book is his cousin, Damon, um and he finds his mate and she actually almost dies in a car crash um 
and then the third one is Xander and his mate and once they get past like the witch coven stuff there's also other things like other conflicts in the story and that's how she's pulled into it because she's a human that's basically she's kidnapped and she's taken not basically she is kidnapped and taken into his world and that's how he ends up finding her because um these humans are being auctioned off women are being auctioned off as like chosen mates or to breed them because the witches cast uh, a plague in the day realm so there's like 10 males to every one female um so they're having those issues as well and xander is trying to stop the kidnapping and the trafficking and uh all sorts of stuff that's going wrong in his kingdom that was started not by the, these three guys they were started by a couple of, like their parents and their grandparents and just like their drama and their issues and they're just trying to fix what uh their couple generations ahead of them started so yeah it's it's really interesting and i really want to read it <laughs> the third book now I'm hoping to finish it today, but I'm only 30% of the way through, but I'm thinking that if I kind of push through, I can get about like maybe 80% of the way through. Unfortunately, I haven't had a lot of time to read it today, but yeah, this is the latest book that's come out, and I, I like I said, I do think she's going to continue the series. I haven't really do uh, dove into like her social media or anything like that, but I am going to because they are just, they're written really well. At first, I was hesitant because the first chapter of the first book, and when I got the sample, it just kind of, the dialogue felt forced like it was just forcing to go to this like point in the story but once I got past that and there was that time jump and we really started getting into the, the plot of it um it got a whole lot better and I really like how she doesn't info dump like that's an issue with some um fantasy novels where there's get to a point where it's just like here's the entire history uh she doesn't do that there's a lot about this world that we still don't know and we're still finding out but it's really cool because, you know, she won't only really bring it up until it comes to the point that it's actually needed. And I really like that because it keeps the story going without dumping a bunch of information onto us that we will not remember. And um, it just also keeps the world like a little bit of a mystery and more magical, in my opinion. So I'm going to jump into that and see how far I would get into it today. So it's actually almost 12.30. I just finished uh, the Faye King's Prize. Oh my god, it is so good. I, just, I really love the series. If you guys like Court of Thorns and Roses, that's the book I'm thinking about. I like completely spaced on the title. Uh, if you like Court of Thorns and Roses, then I think you'll like this. If you also like Jenna Showalter, Cressley Cole, Carolyn Sparks, Lindsay Sands. I think there's another one I'm forgetting. But anyway, uh, if you like paranormal romances, or fantasy romances, I think you'll really like this. It is such a good series. But I have to get ready for bed. I'll probably talk about it more tomorrow or Friday. I still have to read The Garden Spell. <laughs> but yeah, it's on my TBR for this week, and I am determined to get to it. But yeah, I'm definitely getting the paperbacks of these books. I have the ebooks, and I'm going to go online and get the paperbacks probably before I go to bed, because they're just that good. And... Yeah, I'm going to also make sure that she's going to be writing more of the series because I'm pretty sure she set it up in a way that the, the side characters are also going to get their stories. I hope that's true because I'm pretty sure I know one way this is going to go and I hope she writes it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is actually Sunday night. It's been a couple of days since I've done an update. Um, the schedule for last week just kind of went a little wonky. Thursday and Friday, I ended up meeting with a friend of mine. I'm helping her plan her baby shower, and we wanted to get together to work on that. And then after those two days, I like, I just was out at like 8:30. And normally I sleep until like 2 a.m. because I'm a night person, but I was just so exhausted. I slept for like 12 hours each night, so I was not reading. I wasn't doing anything of much really besides the planning. Even if I did have the time to read, I just I didn't really want to read anything else after reading the Faye King's Prize. I had such a book hangover. I was just like, I, we just, I just ended up rereading them. Like, I actually started rereading the first book again. Right after the update I gave you guys last, I went on Amazon. I bought the paperbacks of all the books because there was a prequel that I haven't read yet. Because um, right now I own the ebook, so the paperbacks should be coming in soon. Um, so I'm like really excited for that. But yeah, I just, I didn't really want to read anything else. So I have not picked up Garden Spells and I've decided not to pick it up anytime soon. I'm just not in the mood for it. It 
it's more like Good Witch, like the TV show. I'm kind of, that's what I, I believe it's similar to. And I'm just not in the mood for that. I'm in the mood for a romance. And after reading that series, I just, I really wanted to continue reading romance. And I wasn't really sure what I wanted to read, but then I was working on a blog post where I was doing historical romance recommendations. And I remembered this series, The Disreputable Debutantes. And I remember that there was a fourth book that was supposed to be coming out. So I checked on that and it had already come out, thankfully. So I bought that on Bookshop and that should be here in a couple of days. I just got the email confirmation that it shipped, so I'm super excited for that one. But I just made me want to reread this series. So I'm going to start How to Catch a Sinful Marquee tonight. But yeah, I've just been in a romance mood. So that's the only problem with being like a mood reader. I can never stick to a TBR. I, I've tried. It's just does not work out so I've given up <laughs> I rarely do TBRs the only I think the only time I do TBRs is if like, I have a reading challenge I need to do or um like if I'm rereading a series before book release then I'll obviously stick to that but most of the time nope I just change my mind too much to keep up with it so I'm not sure when I'm gonna get to that tonight because I'm gonna get dinner and then watch some TV I'm also going to be sketching out some um, rough drafts or mock-ups, whatever you want to call them, of a art series I'm doing. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before. I thought I did. If I did, I'm sorry. I'm just going to mention it again. Um, I may be getting some footage of me just doing some ideas of a couple of characters that I'm working on for an art series for my art class. She's doing, my art teacher is doing a couple of prints of art students' work for this uh, festival or art crawl. I can't remember which one it is. And I have decided to do a monstrous women series. And right now I have Medusa, Corpse Bride, Wednesday Adams, and Bride of Frankenstein that I'm working on. And if it turns out really well, then I think I'm just going to add to it and do like a couple other stuff as well. Like um, other women in there. I thought about doing like Medea based off of the Greek story. And then, oh, there was another one. I can see the artwork that it's based off of, but I can't remember her name. And then I also thought about doing a like um, Grimm's fairy tale princess style thing, kind of like turn the princesses like darker, not like evil, but just like I guess maybe evil. Like it has an evil look to it, more like Grimm style, more gruesome. And I thought about doing that as well. So that might I might be working on that after the Monstrous Women series. The Art Crawl Festival, can't remember the name of it. I think it's an Art Crawl. Is gonna happen on May 21st so I don't have a lot of time to get them done so I just kind of want to work on seeing like what I want to work with like the style I want to do and just kind of get a couple of ideas out before our class before our class on Wednesday ah, Lilo my cat keeps trying to drink my water and hopefully I'll get reading some tonight I just want to update you guys because it's just me like a couple of days jump and yeah this is all gonna be probably the same vlog i'm not really gonna be keeping the schedules like from monday to friday or whatever it's just gonna be whenever i start a vlog whenever i end a vlog so yeah so i'm back outside it is monday and normally mondays are really busy for me but i've been extremely lazy today i've just spent most of the day reading um i was wrong last night the first book and the disreputable deputants is hold on how to Catch a Wicked Viscount. I think I'm pronouncing the last word wrong. I always feel like I'm, I'm saying that wrong. So, How to Catch a St. Paul Marquis is the third book in the series. I read the first one and the second one last night and today. I'm going to be starting this out here in a couple of minutes. I also have my writing journal because I need to write some uh, and work on that story. Chapter 3 is due next Monday and there's still so much I don't know about the characters and what's going on. So I need to work on that. I worked on it some earlier. I just didn't get that far. I got I spent like an hour and a half on it maybe. Wow, the sun is really bright. <laughs> um, and I just have a lot more that I need to work on. My notebook is becoming so messy. Just so many like notes jotted down, uh, random ideas. And I love that, but also hate it. I like having organization, and it, it, the notebook is just 
turning into chaos, which is a lot like how I think. So I like the fact that I'm just getting everything down and working on it, but I also hate how chaotic it is. Um, also, I finally got my Once Upon a Book Club um, VIP letter. I sent an application for that in um, maybe a couple weeks ago. I can't remember when I did that. But it was after they announced the Bridgerton box and I joined their Facebook group and I pre-ordered the Bridgerton box. And they put it on there that they were looking for VIPs to promote their boxes. And I, I'm like, I've done a lot of rep searches. I've entered a lot of stuff and nothing has panned out because I just don't have that many followers. So I was just like, eh, I'll just do it because like, why not? Like, what's the harm in trying? And when they sent me the email saying that they accepted my application, I was over the moon. Like, so excited and so happy for the opportunity. So, for those of you guys that don't know, Once Upon a Book Club is a book subscription box. They have adult books, fantasy, romance, uh, they now have young adult. And it was a lot like Page Habit, which I've done a couple of, my mind just went blank, <laughs> of videos on Page Habit. Unfortunately, Page Habit doesn't exist anymore, but it is really similar to how that works. Basically, um, they send you a box every month with, you know, whatever genre that you're interested in and have ordered and they have a book and they also have gifts now the difference is that each gift is um linked to a page so as you're reading it'll like tell you open this gift and it'll be something based off of the story which i think is really cool so you have the monthly box where you just you're figuring out like what book you're getting and it's really exciting and then as you're reading the book you just like open all these gifts a little bit at a time and it just sounds really fun and I'm really excited for the Bridgerton box because it's one of my favorite historic romance series and it just it looks so cool and I'm really excited about this now I don't get sent a box every single month I have a code which I will link down below and I'll put it on the screen if you guys are interested in checking out the boxes but um, yeah they, they pick out one a couple of the VIPs a month and they will send them a box so I won't be getting a box every month I'll be getting like every couple of months really excited about that and I'm actually kind of glad that I'm not getting it every month because then I would feel like compelled to read the book immediately and I just don't think I can keep up with getting a book a month and keeping up with reading that because I do get into like reading slums pretty easily so I'm actually kind of happy with the fact that I'm not getting one every single month or that I have like multiple book subscription services because I don't know how people keep up with that I would not be able to read that much that's the game plan I'm going to listen to some music brainstorm for the story some and then read and hopefully yeah, I finish doing some stuff that I need to do today although I'm just I'm kind of just sinking into it and being like you know what I'm just gonna do whatever and enjoy relaxing because yesterday I like got into such a tizzy about um, traveling at the end of the week and all the stuff that I need to get done and I'm just like you know what I'll get done when it gets done it's okay it's not the end of the world and I think that this this is just kind of because of yesterday normally when I have like one of those moments where I'm really anxious about something I clean a lot I do whatever I need to do I'm in such a rush to get like everything done and then either a couple hours or a day or so later I'm, I'm just like crashed like I'll be so tired like I am today and I will just end up like vegging out in front of like, the TV or reading or something so I think that's kind of why I'm taking like a lazy Monday because the other day I just like worked myself up but yeah I'm gonna see what happens oh another thing I forgot to mention I did not show you guys anything that I was working on yesterday with my artwork because I hated everything that I was working on and I actually only spent like 25 to 30 minutes on it because I was getting so frustrated that it wasn't turning out the way that I wanted it to. So I ended up just taking a step back. I was thinking about working on it some today. I just don't see that happening. So I might work on it tomorrow or Wednesday, which is when I have my art class usually. So I'll hopefully show you guys later in this vlog some of the stuff that I'm working on but yeah the other day I just did not like anything and I ended up racing up everything that I was working on because I was just like this isn't what I want <laughs> um so yeah I'm going to get to work okay so I have solved the sun issue that is actually the canopy that's supposed to go 
over the swing but we don't have the pieces that connect them anymore that are supposed to go here i don't know what happened to them they just vanished and oh my god the sun was just like killing the back of my neck so i decided to pin that up because we had like those bars up there and i was going to use these clip things but i forgot that there it's actually velcro on there so yeah i just like makeshifted something to block the sun <laughs> and i'm very proud of myself right now hey lovely so it's wednesday uh yesterday i ended up not picking up the camera because i was actually filming other videos it was so strange getting back in front of the camera and sitting down and filming stuff. Uh, good, but still like strange. I haven't done that in over a year, I think. Yeah, I got some of those videos done. I did not get any of the book reviews I wanted to done besides the Shadow and Bone review. And I just, I was so tired yesterday after I filmed a couple of videos that I was like, I'm not going to push it. I just don't think I'm going to be able to get them done and get them done the way I want to. So I'm just going to have to wait until I come back into town to do that. But uh, I waited to do this uh, update because I was waiting for How to Catch a Devilish Duke to come in. Uh, this is the fourth and final book in the Disreputable Debutante series. I'm going to be leaving tomorrow, so unfortunately I don't think I'll be reading it uh, until like a week or so later. Because I'm just so busy, but I'm so happy to have this and I can't wait to read it. Uh, yesterday, thankfully before I started the book review video, these came in and oh my god I was tracking it down like I got the email that was gonna be delivered today and I was like I'm waiting <laughs> like I was just like every single time that my dogs went off I was checking the mailbox I was so excited for that um so I'm so happy to get these books <laughs> uh yeah my fiance I walked back in from the mailbox and he saw I had packages and he's just like did you just get more books didn't we just buy you books I think I'm done book buying for a little bit <laughs> probably like a month or so I do fairly good not buying a whole lot of books um so yeah this has been my splurge for the moment so because I'm going to be visiting family for the next couple of days I decided in the vlog here I just don't see me reading or really doing anything that I'm just going to be picking up the camera for so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section if you've read any of these books what your thoughts are about them I hope you guys have an amazing day and are staying safe and I'll see you in a brand new video